throughout my journey learning about coffee, espresso and latte art, I've previously demonstrated a couple of times that you don't have to have an expensive machine to make beautiful latte art. But some of you might be confused on why I insist on spreading that message, while at the same time buying and using a $500 manual espresso machine almost all the time for making latte. This sounds a bit counterintuitive, so in this video we will clarify on that discussion. The mocha pot is an affordable tool that can make strong coffee. However, as per consensus, this strong coffee cannot be defined as espresso. It's not the main purpose of the mocha pot though. The main purpose is to make strong coffee that is not espresso, without breaking the bank. This mocha pot only costs less than $4. Some people actually prefer mocha pot over real espresso. Cost is not the only advantage of the mocha pot. It is also one of the easiest coffee makers to use in the planet. All you have to do are 5 simple steps. We begin by filling the filter with coffee ground to medium fine. The coffee should fill the filter. Then you want to fill the bottom chamber with boiling water. In this recipe I'm using about 60 grams. Next, put the coffee filter above the bottom chamber and assemble the top part by screwing it in place. Then you want to put the mocha pot on top of the burner. You want to set the fire as low as possible. Coffee should flow steadily in the top of the pot. Once the flow goes out of control, immediately take it out of the burner. Immediately after that you need to put the mocha pot above cold water. Then it's done. So how does this compare to my $500 espresso maker? First, you want to make sure that you have the right mass of coffee. With a mocha pot you can get away with volumetric measurements, i.e. the amount of coffee depends on the size of the filter. For this, you need to use an accurate scale to weigh in the coffee, as half a gram can make a huge difference. Other than that, you have to grind much finer than you would with a mocha pot. Grinding this fine requires a grinder that is more expensive than your average home appliance coffee grinder. This is going to be an extra cost on top of that $500. In this step, you have to make sure that the grind size is exactly right and on point. With the mocha pot, you can get away with a wide range of grind sizes. However, with my $500 machine, you're going to have under or over extraction, even when you change the grind size only by 1 20th of a turn. After that, you need to distribute the grounds and tamp the coffee properly. These steps are not necessary with the mocha pot. Next, the chamber needs to be heated to control the brew temperature. Speaking about temperature, the water temperature must also be controlled, which is why I'm using a temperature controlled kettle. We need to assemble everything and only then we can start brewing. In the brewing stage, you should pay attention to the brew time and the pressure. If you don't, then you will have an imperfectly brewed espresso that might be undrinkable. In this case, you will have to repeat these steps again and change the variables so that you have the proper shot of espresso. All of that would result on this. Not only the prices are significantly different, the effort needed are also clearly different. So this doesn't really answer the question. Let's see the difference where we make them into lattes. In terms of pouring, you can make beautiful lattes with both of them. So we can't really pick a winner for that. I'm also curious on how these two tastes.
So this time around there are clear differences. The espresso maker one tastes richer, fuller and have a stronger aftertaste. The other one feels a bit lighter and has more of the nutty or earthy flavours of the coffee. Now if you ask me personally which one is better then I will pick the espresso maker one. But taste is entirely subjective. I'm not going to try to give an objective opinion on that. So overall there is actually no clear winner between two of them. So at the end people will still ask why. Why are you buying a $500 espresso maker for this? It's not for taste. It's also not for latte art. It's actually for the fun and the enjoyment of the process. For me personally, getting your espresso brewed correctly after a lot of tweaking is something that I'm really enthusiastic about. And of course, this is also a subjective opinion, but you need to realize that the question is directed to me and it's somewhat best answered subjectively. I don't mind spending the money and also investing in time, being more adventurous because of one thing, which is enjoyment. And I can't speak for everyone. But the great thing about these espresso makers is that you have a choice. You have the choice to choose either of these two or even others. And in the end, you decide. So I think that about concludes this video. Feel free to use the comment section for discussion. Until next time, see you on the next video.